Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm here to show you this Silver Solar Robot Creation Kit. It's a stem set basically with 190 pieces and it allows you to build like two levels of complexity robots. So there's a uh, stage one and stage two and there's six in each set. Um, like I said, it's from Silbert and this is like a little uh, sample of what you can build. There's a puppy bot, surf bot, beetle bot, crab bot, quad bot, so many different bots. And the great thing about this is there's no batteries required because it has a solar panel that's on the top of the robot's head uh, to harness the sun, uh, the sun's energy to to um, uh, to create energy. And it's sold on um, Amazon for like thirty four ninety nine. It's got like four and a half stars from A O H U Ahu. I'm not sure, but it's got one hundred ninety pieces. It's a STEM kit. It's for my eight year old. This is for eight year olds and above. So let's go ahead and open this up and uh, see what it's like. And this came just like this, so your mailman will know exactly what you bought. There's no hiding it. Here we are, so there's 190 pieces. Everything is plastic, of course. H is eight and above. All right, let's just take a look, okay? So let's see. So th there's a, there's a assembly instructions for every single um, item. So a nice description of an identification of the parts. Step-by-step -step detailed diagrams to show you how to assemble it. So uh, this is meant to be a little challenging. Uh, so that's why it's for eight year olds and above, which equates to around the third grade here in the US. Um, but kids are, this will like help kids learn to figure out how to follow directions step by step and also allow them to use their uh, imagination really to see what they can create with it outside of this manual. But uh, I would recommend that you go through this and build some of these as a baseline first, just to get comfortable with the set and, and putting together robots in general. Here is the solar power uh, panel. There's one and there's some parts right here and gears to, to create movement. And here's some wiring right here and a tiny, tiny, tiny little motor, as you can see. Here's some more uh, plastic pieces, some stickers. And here are the main parts. So, so here's how it looks. You will have to break them off and you know make sure there's no sharp pieces that could uh, hurt your child, of course. So uh, they are kind of small. I mean, eight year olds should be fine, but I would still recommend uh, adult supervision when possible. Look at all these parts. And there are numbers to tell you which sets these are, which is great. All right. And that's all really there is to it. So uh, at this point, uh, I'm going to end this video. Uh, I may come back and show you one outcome uh, of what we build. I'll probably sit with my eight year old first to, to Make sure, you know, she's comfortable with this and we can build something together and then maybe I'll set her free to use her imagination and really explore. And you put it down, it catches the gears and makes it turn like that. All 
All right, so I finished my set and I built my first roly poly bot. Um, there's 10 robots that you can build according to this instruction manual. And here they are right here on this page right here. So this stage one and stage two. And then it gets into um, how to build it. It tells you uh, what parts you need and how to put it together. So let me find one for you. But for example, right here for this buggy, it tells you what parts you need and then it gets into assembling each part. So it tells you here, you need the main units and then you need to find these. And all these bags right here that were pre-labeled. Well, I had to sort out and label myself, but they did provide all the bags and stickers and all that. Um, I was a little frustrated because some parts looked exactly the same and yet they called it like B1 versus B2. Uh, so that was a little frustrating. Um, but otherwise, it's a STEM set. I mean, you're supposed to figure things out. It's not supposed to be easy. Um, the other thing is maybe I have like really thick fingers, but like taking one of these and shoving it into some of the little slots, it was really hard. So I had to use some pliers to really get it in there. Um, so that was the only complaint. Um, other than that, it wasn't that hard in hindsight. I mean, this took me a long time to like find the parts, like finding the parts in each one of these bags because they're not labeled for, for by like project. Uh, I don't know what their logic is, but anyway, just sorting them, all the parts out, took the longest time. Um, and I did spend the last couple of hours putting this together, believe it or not, like just like figuring out the direction, sorting, assembling, testing and all that. So it took some time, um, but it's a STEM set. It's supposed to like teach you along the way. Um, and can my eight year old do this? Maybe with some help. I mean, because it says eight years and plus, uh, that might be for more the advanced <laughs> eight-year-olds out there. Um, it's probably possible. It'll take them a little bit more time and it'll be more fun to do it together with an adult, I think, or someone or an older kid. But this is one of the more complicated ones in the manual, supposedly. It's uh, stage two. Um, but yeah, here it is. Would I recommend this kit uh, for the price, for the number of pieces and everything? Yeah, I, I think I would recommend it. Um, I would dread taking this apart and finding like, this is like part B1, this is part B2 and sorting it back in the bags. That's the only part I, I hate, but you know, organization is definitely needed if you want replay value. All right, check this out on Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Hopefully this is helpful and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.